Yeah, what's the Chris Brown song? The, it's the yeah, the... Give us a few lines. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to game time, it's, you know, she blacks out. She's, she's a beast. You know, obviously you can see she's a very talented player. You know, the talent only gets you so far, the old saying, you know, if you don't work hard, and she certainly has that, you can see. I mean, she's, you know, she's out there a lot, um, training. Um, she's the most physical player on the team. She gives it a, her all. She'll play hurt, she'll play injured. She will, you know, hunt you down if, if she needs to. I think you've got to have a little bit of everything, but, you know, without the hard work and the willingness to go out every day and do something, I think that's one of the reasons she, you know, not only the ability that she has, but the work rate that she has and the work she puts into the game. So them two things usually end up doing well. And she, she's just a playmaker. My name is Gabrielle Parker. I'm 11 years old and I play soccer. Hey guys, good morning. You can come in. This is my room. These are all my um, medals that I have won and my trophies. And those are my new cleats and my no days off shirt. Right underneath, lifting and pushing with the outside. Pull and pushing with the outside. It's, it's very important that we, you know, we try and help these kids along with uh, the technical, teaching them what we consider the right way to play the game. Um, but, but I think, uh, you know, you've got to allow players to be themselves as well and not overcoach them. You know, you can make the players too robotic if you try and teach them everything. The, the way I look at my teams especially and what I try and tell some of the other coaches, it's almost like um, I look at my, my team like a bit of a jigsaw that you need a bunch of different pieces. You know, we're not trying to make everybody the same. We're going to let her be whatever she's going to be and we're just going to guide her along the way. Grab, touch. I've only been with her just over a year right now and, you know, just trying to, obviously she's a very creative player and just trying to you know, help her with the decision making a little bit, but let her to play very, be very creative, let her do do a thing. We're just trying to work on her decision making a little bit, and I think she's, you know, over the last few months, she's really matured as a player. The moment I realized when I love soccer is when I got that ball and then I scored. I think I was like four or something. I was I was small, and I remember getting the ball and scoring, and then seeing my grandpa in the back, and I remember like him like like screaming like yeah, like good job and stuff, and my whole family was there, and I was. I decided to love it by that. Good, one, two, touch, cut. Good, eyes up, and a finish. Good, one, two, three, four, touch, cut, eyes up. Hey, good, quick cut, bang, away we go. One, two, pull it, touch it, touch it and cut it, eyes up. When I hurt my hamstring, I thought that I wasn't be able to, to be able to play again and that I would need surgery on it and I was really scared of that. You know, a lot of times we, we only see the finish line, you know? We don't, we don't anticipate things like that, especially from somebody who puts out all, all that effort and, and, and all that energy. We knew that we had to work a lot harder to get back to where we wanted to be and that this this wasn't going to finish us. The comeback made me stronger because I knew that I wasn't doing something good enough on that field that made me hurt it. I took therapy and it helped me become stronger so when I got on that field I can I could play better and be stronger on that field to not hurt myself again. Have a little stretch. Do you want stretches? Hold them. You know, she's very, what we call technical, she's very good on the ball, very comfortable on the ball. She likes to dribble, she likes to be creative. With young players, sometimes you don't often see that because they're a little bit scared to fail. Um, with Gabby, you've got to try and find the balance. We've got to try and let her, let her try things and be creative because they're the type of players that we're looking for uh, and just helping her along with the decision making along the way. Okay, no, mate, don't go the wrong way this time. Okay, ready, one in between, ready, go. The things that make me different are my skills, my communication and picking my head up when I'm on the ball and my physicalness. I usually tell myself, don't mess up, you got this. And then I get nervous a bit sometimes, but I, I tell myself I could do this, I got this. And then I get on the field and I'm, all, I'm serious. And I work, try to make my passes perfect and everything neat on the field. Yeah, well, mostly with the team. Um, you know, three times a week, usually see on the weekends while well at games, so it's three, sometimes four. Um, but I need to see her a little bit more. Uh, I know she likes to train a lot, so you can train her whenever she wants. Okay, you two are going to count, and then you're going to get a height. Count tomorrow. 
Gabrielle's pretty mature for her age. She's asked to do a lot of things that most kids don't do. She has a lot of responsibilities, definitely a little bit more pressure than most kids. So she's really adapted to that. And it shows on the field, it shows in school, it, it, it shows around the house. And I do um, art. This is some of the art that I like to do. I like to, yeah, sit down and just focus on the art sometimes to, to slow myself down. Gabrielle is a great leader, uh, natural leader. She, uh, her siblings, you know, really, really admire everything that she does. She, she's a work, she's a, uh, a workhorse. She likes to clean. She likes to participate in everything. Uh, she's, she's pretty amazing. I know that what I'm doing at home can reflect on what I'm doing on the field, like being a leader. I think it's a more of the leadership and leading by example. Uh, the kids really look up to her, want to copy and do exactly everything that she does. And I think she motivates the team when she, you know, shows that she gives it her all. The team usually follows that same trend. She, she understands what a sacrifice is. She understands that, you know, uh, we're not privileged enough to stay home and, and not go to work and, and, and not, you know, bust our butts out there to make sure she's, you know, she has gear and she, her tuition's paid for. So she understands that we make sacrifices, she makes sacrifices, and she definitely, you know, holds our end of it. To me, BU means to be yourself. You don't have to act like an other person to do something or or to play on the field, you don't have to act like someone. You be yourself and work as hard as you can on that field or at home or at school or anywhere. Thanks for checking out How I Stay Busy. To watch more videos like this, check out Whistle Sports. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I, I. <laughs> Start it with your foot, okay. <laughs>